What's good everybody, it's boy Eddie here and welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And for today's video, we'll actually be reviewing a general release sneaker. However, it's not so general release right now due to the fact that a lot of your local skate shops are doing raffles and these kind of like shock drop first come first serve events. But I got some more information on the sneaker that I'll talk about a little later. So for right now, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as that notification bell. And just to get right into it, the sneaker that I'm talking about is none other than the Nike SB Dunk Low and the white, black, and gum color. Colorway. And just something to note real quick is the fact that this has an opposite colorway, which is the alternate version, and that is going to be the black, white, and gum colorway, which is pretty nice. So as I mentioned earlier, this is considered a general release sneaker, and at the current moment, it may not feel like it is due to the fact that they're doing these raffles and shock drop first come first serves and all of that, but guys, do not panic if you really want this pair. You don't have to worry about paying resale or none of that type of stuff because I assure you by the end of this year, or by the third quarter-ish time frame, these will be sitting at your local skate shop. So don't rush to pay resale unless you really want them right right now because they are definitely going to be like sitting on shelves eventually. So just to get into the box details real quick, instead of having the rainbow colorway, we do have the purple Nike SB Dunk Box. And as of 2020, the purple box means it's going to be a general release shoe, which kind of makes sense. And the rainbow box is more so for the quick strike releases because as you guys have seen in my previous reviews of the SBs that are limited, they do come into that rainbow box. And then when you look onto this side of the shoe, you just have another Nike SB detail right there. And finally, we do have our sticker tag. And something to quickly mention about the sizing of Nike SBs, definitely go a half size up from your true to size. So on a regular dunk, you could go true to size, which for me is a size eight, but on Nike SBs, I definitely go size eight and a half because of that zoom insole, which adds a thick layer between your foot and the bottom of the shoe. And that kind of makes it a little bit tighter. Now, when we open this lid right here, you can see that we we have this kind of weatherman tissue paper. But what's interesting about the color of this tissue paper is that although it's predominantly white, the kind of heat waves or whatever this is called is in this green colorway. And normally from what I remember, it's usually like a black lining. So that's something to note right there. And then when we look at the history of the shoe, there's pretty much nothing to say about it. I have seen that there has been several releases that look similar to this. However, the release before this one was actually like an orange label release. So it actually had midnight blue Nike check and then it had the orange label on the inside of the tongue right there. So other than that, I don't think there's any history to it. But if you guys know something that I don't, be sure to write that in the comment section down below. So now when we look at the details of the shoe, you can see that we have an all white upper leather and it actually has a premium plushy feel to it. And also it does have some tumble leather details on it as well. But now when we look at the toe box of the shoe, you can see again, we just have more of that tumble detailing. We have the thick Nike SB laces right there. Then we have that mesh tongue, which looks really nice on the Nike SB. And once we go onto the tongue tab, you can also see that Nike SB logo right there. And what's really nice about the inside of this tongue is the fact that it does say support your local, which means support your local skate shots, which is pretty self-explanatory in itself. And then when we look at the lateral side of the shoe, you can see that we have that all white upper again with that nice plush tumble leather. And I do love like how this quarter panel has like a more tumble look to it, but we do have that black leather Nike check right here, which makes the shoe pop. And as you guys know, I love things that make the shoe pop. Then when we go into the back heel area of the shoe now, you can actually see that we have that black Nike logo right there. And then when focusing onto the medial side, the same thing pretty much follows suit. So again, there's nothing to brag about right there. And then now let's quickly focus onto the midsole and outsole of the shoe. So as you guys can see, we do have that all white midsole right there. Next, when we go into the outsole of the shoe, you can see that we have that nice gum bottom. And I don't know why, but whenever I see a gum bottom on sneakers, it just reminds me of Timberlands. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, so that's probably the reasoning behind why I even think this way, but that's just something else to know. And then finally, we do have this foam Nike SB logo right there, which is pretty cool. And then now we just have two more details. So when we look at the lace tips of the laces, you can actually see that both of them are in this contrasting black colorway. And on the lace tip, it says Nike SB. And I think that's pretty cool. And then the final detail to note is that on the insole of the shoe, we have a different type of logo on it, which I think is pretty dope. So instead of having like the Nike SB sideways, we actually have this black box with the Nike SB logo inside of that. So that's a pretty cool detail right there to note. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much all the details behind the shoe. Surprisingly, it doesn't come with any extra laces. I don't know if it's due to the fact that it's a general release and they just want to pump out as many pairs as possible to give it to the consumers. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to conclude the details of the shoe. So now let's get right into this on full look, all right? <laughs> All right. 
so that's pretty much going to conclude the review as well as the awful look and i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did making it for y'all this is actually a pretty dope shoe especially with it being a general release shoe although right now again it's going to be hard to cop don't pay the resale for it guys because it's pretty much going to be available to you if you really want the shoe i think that this shoe pretty much goes with every outfit because it's a white shoe however that means it's going to get dirty pretty fast but the good thing about it is since it's going to be a general release you'll be able to cop another pair if you really want to so other than that y'all don't forget to like share comment and subscribe share with your friends and family and all that and just keep doing what y'all doing to help push youtube algorithms and help my channel continue to grow i see what y'all doing with all the love the likes the subs and all the type of support that y'all give me i truly appreciate it and i got a lot of sneakers coming down the line so make sure that y'all stay tuned so other than that y'all i'll catch y'all in the next video peace